In last session, we have covered scope and data binding. So, in today's session, we are going to cover what is Angular Directives. So, you must have heard of this term Angular Directives and uh, what is this Angular Directives. So, let me tell you a brief definition of Angular Directives. It's nothing but uh, uh, something which enables you to create your uh, HTML code in your own way. In short, uh, you can uh, use directives in order to extend your HTML attributes. So, suppose uh, suppose in our HTML file, there are uh, lines of code and I want to use some code repeatedly uh, several times. So, what I will do? I will write those codes again and again. So, in Angular directives, it provides you a functionality to write that particular code in separate location so that whenever you used to uh, get that function you simply use that directive or that particular code so it will minimize your HTML code so in AngularJS when you want to use the directives you have to write some code in your HTML file after only you can use directive so there are two basically two kind of uh, directives we can use first is a uh, predefined which is provided by angular js itself and another one is custom directive so predefined directives are directives uh, which are already made inside uh, angular js framework we just need to use that and another one is custom directive that is defined by us means we will create that directive we will add that functionality into some directive and use that in our file so first of all we will see what is predefined directive so in predefined directive there are lines of directive many directives we just need to use that particular directive like i am uh, giving you an example of a predefined directive say ng if ng show ng hide so how to use this in our html file within a tag say a div tag i am using a ng show is equal to within quote some variable name so uh, when i will execute some code it will look the directory name that is ng hyphen show is equal to that variable name and if that variable contains true value it will show that uh, particular block of that div and suppose i have written ng show is equal to some variable and the, that variable's value is false then it will not show that value so predefined directives are useful to extend your html uh, attributes so here is a list of uh, predefined attributes you can see ng if ng show ng hide ng click so it is very useful and these are the predefined directive there are so many but these are used widely in our code we in day to day life uh, uh, many programmers many developers they use these code at least because these are very uh, uh, useful so this is all about uh, predefined directives and uh, now I will tell you what is custom directive. Why to use custom directive? Suppose in some scenario I want to add some functionality, my own functionality. Suppose I click something and I want, yeah, after clicking this, the color of the text should be changed automatically. Or you could say anything, functionality you want, that is your own requirement. So how to achieve that? For that reason, Angular just provides you a functionality called custom directive. So by using custom directive, you can create your own directive. And the very first thing you should know about uh, creating Angular directive is you have to use uh, the first letter of uh, ng is a smaller and then hyphen. Then again, your uh, word will contain smaller letter. Means ng hyphen uh, my. Suppose ng hyphen my is a directive name. So n will be smaller and uh, my will be smaller. And inside your directive function, when you will define your directive name then there will be your uh, ng will be smaller and m will be capital and hyphen will not be there so it's like uh, ng m y and m is capital so it should be maintained in your program okay so suppose my uh, directive contains uh, three word like uh, uh, ng hyphen show hyphen extra so in this case all the words will be in lower case and in directive when I'm going to use it ng hyphen I will remove show hyphen I will remove and extra so I will combine all these 
and write the directive names as ng show extra in which n should be small and uh, show out show s should be capital and extras e should be capital so this is the you can see this is the structure of how to write ng uh, in your directive value defining and while you are using that directive in a html file so in this way the at the time of defining directive you have to keep it in your mind that uh, how to write uh, the directive name both in view as well as in your definition part in your javascript file so there are so many types of custom directive you can create basically we have we are using custom directive to access uh, many four types we can uh, access it uh, by using four types there are four types so what are those first is uh, we can use directive as a uh, element itself means uh, as a html element you have must have uh, learned that uh, HTML has a uh, number of elements like uh, div tag, p tag, show, span tag. Similarly, you can create your own tag. That is your uh, uh, that would be your directive, directive tag. Okay, so you could uh, give any name to that directive uh, to to that uh, element. So suppose uh, my first uh, type is uh, element type. So element type, what you will do? You will create a tag means uh, angle bracket. Within that, you will write your directive name and you close your uh, that uh, tag so in this manner you can uh, create uh, directive as a element in your html here you can see i have shown you how to uh, write uh, as a element directive if you want to use as element you have to follow this code okay so after completing uh, means after using directive as a element we will uh, we can create it uh, we can uh, call it by uh, as a attribute like uh, suppose in my div tag i have an attribute called style style is equal to something something so that style is called attribute of div tag so in in, in place of style i can put my own directive name like uh, div space my directive name that is ng hyphen anything and close that div tag so uh, in this manner i can use the directive as a uh, attribute itself okay so it is also useful and uh, next we'll uh, use it uh, like uh, class so in any tag you must have uh, used uh, class so in my div tag i have written something like uh, div space then class class is equal to my directive name which i am making the custom directive name okay so there i will use it as a class so in this way i can use it as an element as a attribute and as a class and one thing is left that is as a comment so as a comment you what how to use it so for that you simply write comment how to write comment in HTML file simply within angle bracket give expression mark and then dash dash and then your comment part so in that part you have to write the directive colon then your directive name so in this manner you can use directive as a comment so friends we have seen that what is directive what are the types of directive in angular js in our next session we will see an example of angular js predefined ang uh, directives example